Today, you know, what's interesting today is it used to be that if you were going to try to bully me, say something, attack me, you had to say it to me, and there were some consequences perhaps to that. Or in the business world, you know, you could be sued for making up stories or lying. But in the social media world that we live in today and online today, you can burn people and nobody knows who you are. And, and so people take, you know, if they can't get attention for doing something good, they'll do something bad. And I'm very fortunate. I don't experience much of it, but I don't fight it anyway because fighting the bully just tries to make that happen. You know, what are you going to do? Prove you're stronger than they are? It's dumb. You know, what they're saying is not true. I just basically ignore it. But what's beautiful is I've been around long enough that people know who I am and what I really stand for and what I really deliver. The changes I work with from you know, from kids to presidents of countries. Um, and so people speak up, other people speak up. And then that's what's beautiful. The community takes over usually. And most bullies are usually ferreted out pretty quickly if people know who you are. But it's a horrific challenge for kids when they get ganged up on because it's that same gang mentality of a bunch of people doing it. And the only thing that stops it, and this is not Tony Robbins talking, it's what all the research shows, is people online immediately going out and saying this is wrong and not attacking the other person, but saying this is absurd, this isn't fair, nobody want this, I won't stand for this. And the more that happens, other people stand up as well. You know, a leader goes first. And online, you can be a leader. All you got to do is put in the truth where people have lied or put in kindness where someone has been hate, you know, hate, you know, pushed hatred and you start to create a new trend. Trends are easy to create online, truthfully. And um, we can all participate in one side or the other. And if we just ignore it, uh, someone else being bullied anyway, then we encourage it. So I usually, if I see somebody else bullied, I step in. If it's me, I step aside and, <laughs> and find most, most of the time other people will step up and defend you.